Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. And we are back with another video today, but this video is going to be a little different. Today's video, we're going to be doing a our week two, uh, pretty much picks for this week when it comes to the NFL games. So I'm going to be doing something a little different. So every weekend um, on Saturdays, I'm going to be doing my, of course, my week by week picks on who's going to be winning what game that's going to be going on on Sunday and Monday nights and stuff. I'm going to be doing that. So, um... Let's go ahead and get into this video. So this is the NFL 2023 week two schedules. So this is the schedule and this is my picks. Now, let me know down in the down in the description. Let me know you guys picks for this week. But this is going to be mine so we can talk about it and discuss it and go back and forth, whatever the case may be. But these are my picks. All right. So cue the music. <laughs> all right. Here we go. So we already had the Vikings and Eagles. We know that Eagles won that. All right. Cool. So now we got the Bears at the Buccaneers. All right, so we got the Bears versus the Buccaneers. The Bears, week one, they look terrible. Offensive-wise, they look terrible. They couldn't stop a flea. They couldn't score. Ugh. Buccaneers, um, Baker Mayfield had somewhat of a, of a good week one, but I just don't see no difference in Baker Mayfield. I just feel like Baker Mayfield is going to – I think Baker, May Baker Mayfield has shown the world what type of quarterback he is, and I don't think he's, he's going to change. So I think he's your, I think on, on this game, particularly because the Bears, I just feel like the Bears just don't have identity. Like their offensive line is still trash. Their quarterback, I love the quarterback, but he's just, he just, he needs a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie. He has weapons, um, but the offensive line is still bad. Buccaneers on the other hand, they do have a decent defense, a pretty decent offensive line. The only question mark I have for Buccaneers is the quarterback, because the quarterback can be up and down throughout weeks. So for this game, I'm gonna go with the Buccaneers. On that one all right next game we got the Ravens and Bengals so we got the Ravens of course Lamar Jackson Odell Beckham and them boys and then we got the Bengals with Joe Burrow Jamar Chase and T Higgins and all the rest of them so of course the Bengals week one they didn't really do anything they 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 put up a stinker I think Joe Burrow only had 85 yards passing like that was horrible and Jamar Chase had a low in, re in regards to receiving yards so um, and then of course the Ravens had a pretty good week one and uh, they got a W um, their defense is pretty good in offense. I think the offense week by week is going to continue to get better. Bengals wise, um, like I said, Bengals don't have offensive line. Like they just released LL Collins this previous week. They they they, they just don't have offensive line. Like they like they're going to get their kill. They're going to get their quarterback killed. And Joe Burrow, like I said, he considering that he had the injury during the training camp and he hasn't played in like months. I think he's still trying to get a feel of the game. So. For this game, and considering that this is a rivalry, I'm gonna go with the Baltimore Ravens on this one. Um, I think, I think Lamar Jackson is gonna be is gonna have a field day. To be honest with you, um, I think the Bengals defense are. I think they're gonna make crucial stops, but I don't think their offense is gonna be enough to beat the Ravens. Anyway, next Packers and Falcons. So we got the Jordan Love story. Of course, Jordan Love has been playing has been kind of shocking to a lot of people that he's been playing pretty good and he's pretty comfortable in the pocket. Um, and then, of course, um, Packers do have a good defense. Then you got the Falcons on the other side. You got B. J., you got B. John Robinson. Um, you got Ritter at quarterback, which I don't really, I don't, I'm not really sold on Ritter at all. I don't think Atlanta fans are sold on him, to be honest with you. But they got uh, Robinson on that side. Their defense is okay. I'm not really sold on 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 their on their coach or their QB, to be honest with you. Um, and then, of course, you got the Packers. Jordan Love is really is really like he's really good. And they have a lot of weapons, and they're going to be at the Falcons. But I'm going to choose the Packers because I feel like the Packers have a way better defense, and I feel like I can trust Jordan Love a lot more than Ritter. All right, next, we got the Colts and Texans. So we got the battle of the two rookie QBs. So we got, um, what is the second the second overall pick, and we got the fourth overall pick. I'm going to be honest with you, Texans-wise, like I said, everybody was hyped when they drafted, when they drafted their QB. 
But then again, I was looking at it like this. I'm like, yo, y'all still got the same team. <laughs> y'all still got the same team. Y'all need to surround this man with weapons and a better defense. Because literally, like, he ain't got nobody to throw to. His offensive line is pretty bad. His defense is like, it's okay. It could be better. Um, Then, then you have the Colts. You got, of course, your, your rookie QB. And, of course, Jonathan Taylor, he's not playing right now. If he was playing, the Colts probably would, would, would be a lot better. Then you have the Colts' defense. The defense is, has been okay, has been pretty much up, pretty much up and down over the course of years. So I don't know what to expect from them, to be honest with you. So if I had to choose, I don't think the Texans have enough to compete. So I'm going to go with the Colts because I feel like the Colts have a, have a better defense than the Texans. And I feel like the Colts have a lot more weapons on offense so i'm gonna go with the Colts with that one now the chiefs and jaguar so of course the chiefs got beat they got beat by the lions week one because they didn't have uh, travis kelsey but he is going to be playing and then of course you had the jaguars you got trevor lawrence and them boys they did uh, make a comeback and they won that game um i'm gonna be honest i like the jaguars defense i like the jaguars offense i like trevor lawrence um i just need to see more consistent play out of you know the cohesiveness of the offense you know because sometimes it just be looking so raggedy out there and then the chiefs on the other hand you got patrick mahomes super bowl mvp of course you know him um can't count him out at all defensive wise they're gonna be getting chris jones back and they're gonna be getting travis kelce back i think this game is gonna be really really competitive um if i had to choose i'm not going to go against patrick mahomes so i'm choosing the chiefs on this one all right next we got the Chargers and titans so chargers at titans i'm gonna be honest with you the titans I don't like their QB situation. I think Tannehill is going to is gonna lose his job. Um, and as far as defense, I just don't think they, they have as good as a team as people think. Like, yes, they have, the De yes, they have DeAndre Hopkins. He is, he is a veteran receiver, and he is going to help them. But they're not helping themselves when Tannehill's out there throwing them, 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 them stinkers. Like, he's literally just, like, he's not a good quarterback right now. He's not. He's really not. And then do you have the Chargers, of course. The Chargers are loaded on offense, really good on defense. It's just the play calling is very questionable. On downs, they should run the ball, they throw the ball. And they have Kellen Moore too as well. We all know the issues that he had in Dallas. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, this is a pretty much easy one. I'm going to choose the Chargers over the Titans. I just think the Chargers have way more to offer than the Titans at the moment. I think the Titans are, like, I think they're further away than a lot of people think. But anyway, next up, we got the Raiders and the Bills. Raiders and Bills. Okay, so we got Jimmy Garoppolo. And then we have Josh Allen. Now, Josh Allen is a freaking, he is a turnover prone QB. Like, he's gonna throw picks. He's gonna, like, he's, like, he's just gonna do that. Um, then you got Jimmy Garoppolo that finds some sort of way to win games. And I don't understand it. I don't know if he got the Tom Brady voodoo doll or something or some type of magic, but he just finds ways to win games. The Raiders defense can be suspect at times, but it's pretty good. You got Crosby and all them boys. And then the Bills. You got step you got Stephon Diggs. Um you got you drafted the tight end, the rookie tight end. Um yeah, the Bills just don't have a running game, honestly. Um I think this game is gonna be competitive as well. I don't think it's very clear cut like a lot of people think. Um, but I'm going to put my faith into the Bills in this one. Um, because the Raiders wise, I just feel like um of course Raiders got Devontae Smith. And all them boys but i just feel like the raiders defense is kind of suspect at times too all right now we got the seahawks and lions so now the lions have been a shocker too as well like they're really really good i think they're really really good i think they're a really good coach team um and then we have seattle of course you got geno smith and dk metcalf and all them boys and bobby wagner back on defense so as far as seahawks and Lions, I think this is going to be a very competitive game as well, too. I think it's going to really come down. I think it's going to come down to, honestly, who can stop one another. Because I feel like both of them have weapons. I just feel like it's going to all come down to defense. And I don't really trust to see. I don't really trust Seattle's defense. I love Bobby Wagner. I love the corners. You know, and all them boys out there. I love those. But I just think the Lions are well coached. And they're going to be at the Lions, too. So... I'm choosing the Lions with that one. Now, the 49ers and Rams. Um, this is pretty much easy. You got Brock Purdy and you got Chris McCaffrey. You got that loaded offense and defense there. The Rams, um, you got Matt Stafford and a bunch of rookies. And the defense is not what it used to be. Uh, this is pretty easy. I got the 49ers. Rams just don't stack up good against them. Now, you got Giants and Cardinals. All right. 
Now, of course, my Cowboys beat up the Giants. <laughs> we blew them out. They didn't even score, so they so they definitely have a chip on their shoulder. The Cardinals, the Cardinals are literally, they are like, at this point, <laughs> they trying to get rid of all their players. They're trying, they're trying to get that top five pick. I don't think they're gonna be really competitive, to be honest with you. I think they're just gonna send them players out there and be like, hey, just play so that we can get to the end of the season. So for this one, I'm gonna choose the Giants. I feel like the Giants have a little bit more to offer than the Cardinals, and the Cardinals don't really have a good starting QB. All right, next we got the Jets and my Cowboys. Okay, so they're gonna be Jets. Jets are gonna be coming to the Cowboys. So you got two really good defenses. Um, and then offensive wise, I feel like the Cowboys have a have a a little more cohesive off offense than the Jets. I love the Jets star receiver rookie what is the second year receiver i love him um quarterback wise i'm choosing dak prescott over you know um their uh second qb because of course aaron Rodgers is not playing in this game if aaron Rodgers was playing in this game this game probably would be very competitive and it would probably be very very close i still think it's going to be very very close and i think it's going to be a defensive battle and i think what's going to determine this game who wins this game is who who can establish the run game and I'll be honest with you, the Jets have two very good backs. The Cowboys, we do have Tony Pollard. Um, but I really think this game is going to come down to defense, honestly. And I think it's going to be a very, I don't think it's going to be a high-flying game. I think it's going to be a very, maybe two-score two game or so. I don't think it's going to be, like, a blowout. So, of course, I'm a Cowboys fan. You know it. I'm choosing my Cowboys. We're going to beat these Jets. Let's get it. Next, we got the Commanders and the Broncos. All right? So, Commanders and Broncos. So, we got Sam Howell, which I don't know who the hell that is, but they decided to draft him, and now he's the starting quarterback. And then we got the Broncos with Russell Wilson, Sean Payton, new, the new head coach. Um, they lost week one. Uh, the Commanders won one, a week one versus the Cardinals. Um, so, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still not sold on Russell. Like, Russell, we haven't seen the Seattle version when he was going back to back Super Bowl. We haven't seen that version in like four to five years. I don't know why people truly think that he's just going to magically appear and be like and save their and save their whole franchise. I don't think Russell Wilson is the same quarterback. And I think he may have one or two more years left. If that um, the defense is really, really good. You got Patrick Sertain out there. You got them boys. You got Randy Gregory. You got that good defensive line. I love the defense. Offensive wise, I just feel like there's not enough wide receiver weapons. And I just don't like Russell Wilson. Now, Commanders, some, Sam Howell. I feel like their defense is good. I know Chase Young is going to be making his first uh, de debut in like two to three years, which is crazy. Um, their, de their defense is pretty good. They got their new offensive coordinator, Eric Bieniemy. I think he's calling the office pretty good. I feel I just feel like the QB is just questionable. I feel like Sam, Sam Howell, we don't have tape on him. He's very questionable. He may look good, but once people actually start to have tape on him, I don't think he's going to be that good. So, considering that Sam Howell is a rookie QB and he's and he doesn't have that much experience, I'm going to choose the Broncos, even though I don't trust Russell Wilson that much. But I'm going to choose the Broncos with that one. Now, Dolphins and Patriots. So, Dolphins, literally, Tua and Tyreek Hill, literally, Tua threw for like 400. Tyreek caught, caught for like 300 damn near. <laughs> like, they was just high-flying offense. Very good defense. Can be shaky at times. And you got the Patriots, which I don't... I'm kind of confused. The Patriots, with their QB situation, how they run the offense is just weird to me. I don't understand. It's just so inconsistent. Sometimes they can be high. Sometimes they can be low. Some of their wide receiver weapons are just kind of questionable, too. They do have Juju in them, boys, but it's not... They're not really a high-flying scoring offense. You got their defense was like a 3-4, 4-3 hybrid. Um, defense, of course, with Bill Belichick has always been good. Um, but... I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think the Patriots have enough to, if Tua is healthy and he plays the game fully, I don't think the Patriots have enough defense to stop that offense of the Dolphins. So I'm going to say the Dolphins is going to win that one. Now the Saints and the Panthers, Saints and Panthers. Okay, so um, Saints-wise, they have Derek Carr. Um, they won their first game of the season, the Panthers. They got, uh, of course, the first round pick, uh, was it uh, Byron Young or uh, Bryson Young or something? I forgot. I've got his first name, but first o first overall pick QB Panthers drafted him. Um, he has a few weapons around him, not that much. Defense is not that good. Saints they have a really good defense. Their offense, I just feel like the more Derek Carr's get used to their system, I feel like the better he'll be. Um, so I'm gonna choose the Saints. I don't think I don't think Bryce Young is gonna get his first win this week. Sadly, even even though he's at home, I don't think he's gonna get it. 
Now, Browns and Steelers. Steelers took an L to the 49ers. They got demolished. They got blown out. Kenny Pickett. I know a lot of Steelers fans are not sold on Kenny Pickett, to be honest with you. I like the receiving core. You know, I like the defense if they're on point. I like TJ Watt. I like all that. Then you have the Browns, and they are monster defense with My with Miles Garrett and them boys on that side. Like, it's pretty tough. And then they have Deshaun Watson, which I'm going to be honest with you. I like Deshaun Watson. I just don't think he's going to ever reach the level of play that he was when he played for the Texans. I think a lot of people are trying to, you know, put it out there like, oh, my God, I can't wait until he gets back to this form because we're, like, Super Bowl bound. And I don't think he's going to get back to that. I just don't think so. I just don't think so, personally. If the Browns, like, change their offensive coordinator and maybe they coach, maybe we could possibly see something. But I just don't like their offense. I just don't like the play calling on offense. But I know that they're a dominant team. As well, the Steelers have a dominant offense. And they're, the Steelers have a dominant defense. But their offense is kind of questionable. And their QB is questionable. So I'm going to go with the Browns on this one. And I think they're going to take out the Steelers because of their defense and Deshaun Watson. I think he's going to have a really good day. But... That is going to be my NFL 2023 Week 2 picks for this week. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about my picks. Let me know what you guys' picks are because I want to. I'm very, very curious as well, too. And yeah, and we can have fun in the comment section. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. I really do appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.